Okay, so you have your perfect YouTube video, but how do you repurpose that for Instagram? My name is Julian. I'm the founder and CEO of Kapwing, the online video editor. In this video, I'm going to show you how to repurpose your YouTube videos for Instagram. So basically, I'll show you how to take a YouTube video, cut it into one minute segments, make them square, and then add a title above your video and subtitles below the video for a perfect square Instagram video. Okay, so it all starts here with my YouTube video. So I'm going to be using this YouTube video that I made about making stop motion videos for Instagram. But you can use any YouTube video on your channel as long as it's less than 30 minutes long. So um, I have actually the timestamp here that I want to cut it to. It's about like 30 seconds. So I want to make like a clip basically that starts at 30 seconds in the video. So um, to do this tutorial, I'm going to be using an online tool called Kapwing, obviously. Um, Kapwing is K-A-P-W-I-N-G, and the um, Kapwing is totally online, so it works on every device, including your phone, um, and all, like uh, Macs, uh, Windows computers, Chromebooks, any sort of uh, tablets, any sort of connected device you have. So just come to Kapwing.com or search for it on Google and go ahead and click to get started. So this actually brings you into our studio tool, which is sort of like our main unified um, studio that will let you do several different tasks that um, make the like perfect Instagram clip. So I'm just going to go ahead and cop. The first step is to import your video or upload it. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the link, the URL up here to my YouTube video and then paste it into this box that says paste uh, image or a video URL. So just control C, control V. And then my video will be imported. Now you can see that my normal or like the video on YouTube is four minutes and 16 seconds long. And here it is also four minutes and 16 seconds long. So it's just been imported onto this digital canvas. Okay, so step one of making the perfect Instagram segment is cutting uh, your clip to a minute long. So um, I guess my face in the corner here is kind of covering it, so I'm gonna move my face over. But as when you click on your video layout, you'll see that there's this trim option here on Kapwing. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that, and then I'm gonna trim down my video. So remember I told you that I'm trying to get to, to the start time to be 30 seconds. So I'm just gonna move the start time to 30 seconds. Steps. You just and then make sure it sounds right. So there's four really simple steps. You just find your editing software, Two, upload your photos. Three, arrange them and add them. And four, download and share the video on Instagram. So there we go. That is exactly the clip that I want. So I just stopped it on that timestamp, which it looks like it's 4196. So I'm just going to move the timestamp to 41 seconds. Let's see here. Now on Instagram, you can upload videos. So there's oops, you can upload videos that are um, up to a minute long. So this segment that you cut out here can be up to a minute long if you're doing it for Instagram. Um, I actually am going to listen to a little bit longer in this video to see if I want it to last a little bit longer. So there's four is what you're so there's them and four download and share the video here. on Instagram. So I'm going to show you each one of those steps one by one. Make your stop motion video right. This is what you're so there's four really. Nope, I want to keep it at 41. Okay, great. So here we have, so here we have our second. I'm just going to click done tripping. Okay. So now you can see that my uh, clip has been reduced from that four minutes to just 11 seconds, which represents the piece that I just trimmed. Um, I don't have to wait for the video preview to upload. It's all or just here for me to preview it and see if it looks right. Okay. Second step is to make it square. So I make it square by clicking this resize tool in the main toolbar. So I click on that and then I'm going to resize to square or one by one. So that's this first aspect ratio button. Now you can see that my video gets kind of cropped because it was originally a YouTube video landscape. Um, so I, you could, you could leave your video cropped, but in my case, I don't want it to be cropped. I want to add padding above and below. So I'm just going to use these sliders to resize it fully so that I have like the full video in the frame. There we go. I think that looks about right. Then I'm going to use just drag and drop that video layer so that it's centered. You can see there's a nice snap too. And that adds this uh, area above and below my video. Now you can crop this as much as you want it to. Like if you want to crop a little bit, but not fully, you can do that all right here in Kipwing. Um, okay. So now I have my video uh, with padding added. So I've accomplished step two of making it square. Step three is I'm going to add a title. So to do that, I'm just going to use this master text tool, which is here in the toolbar. So I click on that drag the text where I want it to go ish. And then I'm going to double click on the text, or you can also click this edit button down here in the left corner to uh, in input the title that I want. In this case, I'm going to make it um, uh, something related to the title of the video. So um, making maybe like a making Instagram uh, stop motions, or actually maybe I'll say like uh, making stop motions for IG Instagram. 
Great. Now I can resize that. The text automatically fits the section that I want. Now I really like this permanent marker, the same uh, text that, or the same font that I use here in like the video preview. So I'm going to change this font from the default Arial to my permanent marker font. So I'm just going to click on this Arial button down here. Um, you can see that there's a long list of fonts. We have literally thousands of fonts in Kipwing that you can browse, but I know what I want, so I'm just going to type permanent marker right here. Great. So now I have that permanent marker cap, uh, permanent marker font with my um, with my caption. I'm going to keep it, uh, what is this color, black, obviously, but you can change your color to whatever you want it to be, or you can set a custom hex color if you have something that you use for your brand. Okay, so uh, now I have accomplished step, uh, step, what am I on? Step three, which is adding a title above the video. And I'm gonna go ahead and click done here to process this video altogether. Step four, oh, I actually wanted to show you one more thing before I cl click done. Um, you can also add images in here. So like, let's say I wanted to add like an Instagram icon. I can just search for that image, choose like one of these little icons, which are obviously the Instagram um, icons. I wanna find one that's square, ideally, but I, oops. Just let me do that again. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and use this one, I suppose. I can just make it smaller and move it into place. You can do, you can add emojis or like other kinds of, uh, you know, icons, logos, things like that. The same way you could add a watermark, um, but I'm just going to add in that IG um, icon there. Okay, so now I've added in all the stuff that I want. I've done everything that I want to do to the visual layout, and I'm just going to go ahead and click done here. So Kapwing is fully online, which means that um, none of this processing, video processing, will like heat up your computer or take up any CPU, which is really nice if you have like other programs open or other tabs. You can see it processes it pretty quickly depending on the size and length of your video. Um, it just takes, for this video, which was again, like four so minutes long, four really it just took about what, like uh, 10 seconds or something like that. And here is my video imported from YouTube so just directly. Find your editing software two, upload your photos, three, arrange them and add them, and four, download and share the video on Instagram. Okay, so you can see also that since Kipling is fully in the cloud, you can edit everything. So if you wanted to, you could just like click this and just immediately have everything loaded back here. Let's say you wanted to trim out a different segment, for example, you could just click that edit button and have all everything loaded back into the state. But I so actually like this clip, so it step. looks pretty good. What I'm gonna do now is just click this download button. Okay, so the step four, the fourth step to making like a perfect um, repurposed clip for Instagram is adding captions. Um, most people who uh, publish on social media know that about 80% of social media videos are watched with no sound on. So you need to add sub you need to add subtitles if you want to reach like the majority of uh, Instagram's audience. So uh, to do that, I'm just going to go back to this products tab here, which shows all of the products that Kipling offers. Um, you can see we have a huge suite of tools to help people make video online, but I'm going to go ahead and click into the subtitler. Then I'm just going to go ahead and upload my video. You can see I just downloaded it right here to my computer. So I'm just going to upload it, uh, drag and drop it onto this upload file. Or sorry, upload button. <laughs> So there's four really simple steps. And there is my video imported with all of the um, all of the captions and images that I uh, that I added in the previous step. So now you can see here this video is pretty short, so it'd be pretty easy for me to manually subtitle it. Um, let's see, I could just type in right here. I would say like a there's four really simple steps. That's my first line in the in the video. Um, but you can alternatively auto generate the captions. So I'm going to go ahead and try that for this clip. Let's see how it works. Select your language. For me, I'm in the US. So I'm going to go ahead and click English US auto generate. And it'll take a short amount of time depending on how long you know, your video is and how big the, the file is. Um, but uh, you should see sort of like loading indicators as the video is transcribed. Great. Okay. So I would say that our automatic transcriber, we use Google's by the way, so sort of like the leading cutting edge of voice recognition API um, is about 90% correct. So you're definitely going to need to go through and like correct some of the things. So um, what's nice about that though, is the timings are already set perfectly to your, to your voice. So uh, you won't need to adjust the timings as much probably. Okay. So I'm going to listen to the video and just manually so tweak it. So four really simple steps. Okay. So it's not, he said it's so or download and share the video on Instagram. And so download four really and simple steps because share the video on Instagram. Perfect. Okay. So now that I have subtitled the video fully and see there's four subtitles, I'm just going to watch the whole thing through. You can see that all the subtitles are previewed here on the left video preview. And so Oops. So there's four really simple steps. You just find your editing software, two, upload your photos, three, you just find your editing software, 
to upload your. I just decided that I'm going to split this actually into um, a couple more. Download and share the video on Instagram. Okay, so there's four really simple steps. You just find your editing software. Two, upload your photos. Three, arrange them and add them. And four, download and share the video on Instagram. Great. So the next thing I'm going to do is change the styling of my subtitles. So I don't, I like, I mean, this, this, uh, style with the white text on a black background is pretty standard, but for this video, it doesn't look as good because it's got a white background. So I don't necessarily want this style. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and get rid of that background. I'm just going to click this none button. Now it looks like my subtitles disappeared because they're written in white, but I can just change the font uh, or sorry, the color of the font here. Click on the white, um, and I can change it to whatever color I want. I could match this like pink color that's in the um, in the video, or I could make them just black. Um, let's see. I guess for this one, I'll match this pink. I actually think it's this pink. Yes. Let's see. To upload your photos. Three, yeah, that looks great. Them. You can also change the font here. So I'm not going to use this permanent marker font because it's kind of hard to read, but I do want something slightly different than just the default. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and browse here. I guess we'll use Railway because that's what we use for our other. Um, uh, fonts on our website and then add them and four download and share the video on Instagram. There it is. And I'm going to turn off the bold, I think. Maybe so just, there's four really uh, simple steps. You just find. Yeah, actually, I'm going to keep the bold. I like it better. You can also change the size. So like if I wanted to make it a little bit smaller, uh, 16 font, for example, that works. Your editing software. Um, to upload your photos. And yeah, once you have your um, your sizing done here, you just click, click create to process the subtitles, burn them directly into your video. Okay, so this was the fourth step to making the perfect Instagram clip or repurposing your YouTube videos on Instagram. I um, just added subtitles to the MP4 so directly so that I don't have to worry about SRT files. Like these subtitles will show up no matter what for every user who sees this video on Instagram. So I to uh, publish this video to Instagram, I just go ahead and download it here. The MP4 is um, installed onto my computer, downloaded onto my computer, and I can just uh, post this directly to Instagram. Um, and yeah, those are the four things that you need to make the perfect clip for Instagram. You can see here's the final version. Um, you can do this for any sort of video. Oops, sorry, I closed it. Let's see. Um, you can do this for any video. You can do it multiple times over for your, for your YouTube videos. Um, Kapwing is totally free to use, but I have the pro version, which removes this little Kapwing watermark from the corner of my output videos. Um, this actually, I left this Kapwing watermark on in the original YouTube video. So um, that's why you can see it here. But th this is sort of like a preview of what the watermark might look like if you're using the free version. And yeah, there is, that's uh, the four things that you need to know about making the perfect um, video, uh, repurposing your YouTube videos for Instagram. Um, we uh, love hearing user feedback here at Kapwing. So please subscribe to this channel for more video tips just like this. Um, and also uh, leave a comment or like let us know how you feel about it. Reach out to us on Twitter or over email to um, make requests, uh, leave uh, comments, and uh, uh, let us know your ideas for improvements in the future. Thanks for using Kapwing, and yeah, I will see you later.